Hey there, toy collector friends and Star Trek fans alike. Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Triple TC, the time traveling toy collector, and this is something a bit different. This is a Star Trek, the original series captain's chair. Uh, it's a one to six scale FX replica. Um, and it has flashing warning lights and authentic bridge sounds, as you can see here. I got this for what I believe, and you can let me know if I'm right or wrong in the comments, is quite a good deal. Um, I got it for less than 50 quid from uh, Master Replicas. Master Replicas um, were having a bit of a flash drop. You know that Master, some of you will know Master Replicas uh, is a company that's picked up a lot of the Eagle Moss stock uh, that was floating around in containers waiting to be um, housed or homed uh, and then sold on following their collapse. Um, and this possibly was picked up by them along the way. A little bit of box damage there, but I'm going to, you can't quite see it. I'm going to tilt up slightly. Yeah, you can just about see it there. It's not, nothing drastic, but I'm just conscious of it. Um, but yeah, this is a replica of the first captain's chair. So Captain Pike slash Captain Kirk from the bridge of the USS Enterprise. And it's a one to six scale replica size. Um, and I picked it up. They were doing a spot. Now, it wasn't something that usually sort of thing I'd get my hands on, to be fair. Um, I'll just turn it this way so you can see that what the box looks like on this side. Um, there's, not, yeah, there's not a huge amount to, to show you on this. This is a, 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 a clearly a figure. Uh, I haven't got the figure. I've only got the, the chair. Um, I don't know why I bought it. <coughs> why I bought it. I think it was a, a, a criminal dose of uh, FOMO, if I'm brutally honest with you. Um, but that's, you know, that's fine. That's allowable. I'll allow myself a moment of that. Um, and here, I'll show you the back of the box now. It's quite hefty, so I'm going to keep it sort of there till I take the product out. Um, but yeah, so it's you can see it's got a, its base um, in that lovely colour scheme we've, we're accustomed to for the original uh, USS Enterprise bridge. Uh, and it's got panels on the sides uh, and they light up and they make noises, you know. Who, what's not to love? Something that lights up and make noises. I'm there immediately loving it. Um, and it's, it says here it's to, it's scaled for the uh, for QMX's Star Trek figures. Um, I'm not familiar with those figures. Uh, I don't really collect latterly. I don't collect Star Wars, uh, sorry, Star Trek figures. Uh, I had a couple many many years ago the back end of the 80s um and i had a couple the back end of the 70s uh, which were the star trek the motion picture um action figures which were sort of the standard i think three uh three and seven three three and three quarter inch figures which only had um arm like shoulder roti uh, um, articulation in terms of forwards and back same with hip uh and if you're lucky a bit of head rotation but not a lot else and no accessories etc uh but this is I, it just really caught my eye on the website now i have um had a couple of conversations with people subsequently who say that they've also released an enterprise d chair i don't know if they've re released any others and i'm now in that horrible position of thinking well i don't know whether or not i need to collect these and have them as a as a as a display option or I need to actually just go, yeah, this was this was really nice, but I'm moving on. <laughs> I'm not keeping it, or I'm keeping it as a as a as a as a one-off luxury product that I've treated myself to. But as I say, that apparently according to the website, the, the retail price was something like a hundred and hundred and sixty, hundred and seventy quid. Um but they were they were selling it for less than fifty. So I th I thought, well actually, you know what? That looks to me like a deal. Um, I did what I usually do at this point, and I checked online auction sites. And to be fair, they did appear to be up around the 100, ranging from 100 to 200 pounds worth of um, resale value on the secondary market. Again, not looking to resale it. Um, I was only looking purely so I could make a decision as to whether or not um, this was value for money. As because sometimes you see people. I'm not suggesting that uh, Master Replicas do this, but you sometimes see um, shops or online stores saying massive sla price slash, um, and it's only this. And then you look online, you can get it for less. 
um, or you can get it for the same uh, from a more reputable store, possibly. Um, and I like to be sure. Uh, as I say, Master Replicas so far have been fantastic with what I've been able to get from them. Um, so I wasn't doubting the product or the quality of the product. I was just checking to see whether 50 quid seemed like a good deal. And I have to say, it seemed like a good deal at the time of purchase. Uh, and it came pretty quickly. So I'm really pleased that I now have it in hand. You've seen the front, you've seen the back. Um, these are the these are the different sound settings, bridge operations, shipwide announcement, view screen scanning and red alert. And as I say, it has some flexibility. Um, you can plug it in using a USB cord, which interestingly is not included, but most of us have those anyway now. I think, however, if I was paying upwards of 150 quid for this, I would want a USB mini uh, uh, plug cord included because that's just, you know, standard it's easy um, however three AA batteries are also an option and they're also not included but that's not that uncommon uh, and those I have so those I can put into this so let me crack it out and let's have a look at what this really looks like in the flesh okay so here it is out of the uh, oh yeah sorry Optimus doesn't need to be in there but you know the Autobots don't usually get thrones and things so I thought be quite nice if he actually had somewhere to sit so yeah so here we have the captain's seat uh it does come with some very basic instructions on how to put the batteries in which i'll show you in a second i'll show you where they go i won't bore you with how to put batteries in i think you'll probably know how to do that um it's a very nice um replica uh it has its own very solid very sturdy base there as you can see um, then has that sort of rotating bracket uh, there, which enables the chair to turn around and face you. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit hands-free now as we go slightly higher up. Not hands-free, hands-on, um, to give you a bit of an aerial shot. So you can see here that it is actually, uh, I hope you can see that, it's soft. It's a soft fabric chair. It's very nice with this sort of wooden effect. Um, what do we call them? Uh, armrests, yeah. Um, that go either side of where, the, where Captain's Pike or Kirk would sit. And then you have these buttons and these controls here, which are, again, I think, you know, quite nicely detailed. I really think they've, they've done a good job with these. You know? I'm trying to keep them in uh, focus. Give you a nice, a nice shot of it. So, I mean, in terms of of what it does, it kind of, that's, I'm gonna do the, the lights and the sound in a second. Um, as a disclaimer, I don't own the copyright for the lights and the sound. Well, lights, can you own copyright for lights? Probably, but for sound, no, this is the sound chip that's in the toy, so, or the display model, if you'd rather call it a display model. Um, but I'll keep it up here just to show you. But yeah, it's a very nicely presented piece. It's the sort of thing that, Again, as I say, I would never have entertained it um, at its sort of stock price. But thanks to the sale, uh, I'd pick it up. Would I pick up one for each of the other starships? Well, I think we all know the answer to that is yes, I would. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I should. Uh, so I'm going to do some research and find out if there are more. If any of you are aware of there being more, could you please drop a comment uh, down below and let me know maybe with a link to where I can get them from or look at them at the very least um, that would be much appreciated whilst you're doing that um, if you don't currently subscribe to the channel it would be amazing if you would do I'm trying to get to my next subscriber um, target so uh, if everyone who watches this video or who's clicked on this video could click on subscribe it's free there's no obligation to purchase anything or pay anything. It's absolutely free and it just really, really helps me. It's a small click for you and a massive boost for the channel. And whilst you're there, uh, maybe like like the video as well. Um, so I'll quickly wait for you to do that. Thank you very much. I'll assume you've now done it. That's great. Um, I'll now show you what the what these do. Um, so we've got, the, as I said, got the panelling on the sides of the arms of the chair there. The button... Uh, is this one here and this is what happens when you press it That 
I think is the scanning, the screen scanner. First one I think is standard bridge operations, I think. But this is definitely the screen scanner. They do tend to go on until you press the button. That's the sort of ship to ship to ship communication, isn't it? See what I mean? It just it just carries on. Next one. Red alert. And what's nice is you get the red alert light flashing away there. So that's a neat touch. And we'll turn it off. Um, so yeah, it's very nice. Let me turn it around for you so you can get the full. The full actually, I'll put, let me just try and come into land here in such a way that doesn't then collapse the camera. Uh, yeah, so you can see how it's structured. So the, the center of gravity kind of pulls through here. We've got this block at the front and the rotating column is, is here. But we'll move it around a bit so you can see the, the sort of the rear profile of the chair. Um, that's, there's not, not a huge amount to comment on this. The, uh, the back is harder, but it's still covered in the same material as the front of the chair. You can see here that there is a volume uh, up and I hope you can see that that there is a volume up and down control. Uh, I sort of had it in the middle, mid range. I'm not going to do all the different volumes for you to check. You, you know what louder is and quieter is. As I say, mine was mostly in the middle. That's the USB port for charging. Let's say charging. Sorry, if you're going to power it from a USB, otherwise the batteries, unsurprisingly, fit into a compartment in the base here. Very easy to open, he says. Uh, well, because it is. There's the batteries. The batteries are inside. I've put them there. Um, so that's nice. Thank you. Speaker is on the base. So again, if you are having this on display and you want to occasionally have it turned on to entertain your dinner guests or you're having a Star Trek watch along night, all of those things sound fantastic. Then... Um, Bear in mind that it will be muffled, depending on how you are standing this. Uh, it does come with, which don't don't work when you're on a rotating platform, but it does come with a, uh, some soft pads that do elevate it slightly, um, so there's space for the sound to uh, escape. But I would probably be mindful, depending on how and where you display this, you may cut off some of that sound coming out into the world. So there we have it. I think for um, 50 quid, because the quality of it's really good. Um, it, it feels very solid. I mean, would it survive being dropped? I wouldn't recommend it. Because also there's electronics, there's bulbs, there's lights. You know, there's, don't drop it. But it's kind of robust. I must admit, I feel a bit cheated that we don't get a, a USB charging cable. Would it have killed them? You know especially at the asking price, the initial asking price. I think that's a bit a bit mean. Um, the rotation of the chair is okay. Um, I do feel it's a little bit, it's a bit like when I'm messing with a, a new transformer. It's not that it's stiff so much, but there's a sense within it that I don't trust it not to sort of come apart. Um, I think that's probably more my anxiety around it and, and my own ineptitude i don't think it's the product itself so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put that on the on on the chair itself um but yeah so in terms of size you saw me i had the rise of the beast optimus prime sitting there um right at the at the start but just to give you a sense uh you know if i scrunch my fist up my fist can fit in the chair you know so it's quite it is quite a large it's quite a large piece um, it's not like a small kind of Eagle Moss model. This is this is hefty. Um, so bear that in mind. Uh, it's the detailing on here is very nice. Let me lift it forward. I'm conscious that it's not that visible from there. If I, you know, I think the detailing on the arms is done really well. Uh, let me zoom in a bit more. Really try and capture that for you. Uh, on in terms of what the arms are doing. Uh, 
Really, the only place we get the lights is here. I didn't see anything light up there. We'll just cycle through again. Yeah, so you can see these lights engaging here. Uh, the amber, red and the green. Nothing over here lights up. I'll assume it's not supposed to. Nothing else. I'm, I'm always conscious that something else might do something that I'm not aware of. Uh, then we get uh, the scanner, which has the green light. Again, nothing happens over here. Um, ship shipwide communications. We get the orange flashing light. So again, these are dummy lights at the end. These are dummy lights here. And then we go to red alert. So we get the red light flashing. And there you have it. So it's, I mean, these switches were very nice. They, maybe they could have mixed it up a bit by having some depressed the other way. But again, I'm just being super picky. Uh, it, it's very reminiscent to me um, of some of the detailing you get on the Eagle Moss um, TARDIS consoles collection. Um, in terms of the, the quality of the... Uh, that sounds like it's a backhanded compliment. It's not meant to be. Uh, the quality of the... the uh, elements on the console reminds me a bit of that so there's some really it's quite good detailing um but does it stand up to an awful lot of scrutiny well not perhaps not um i can't tell you um because i'm not that much of an aficionado whether these are screen accurate and to be honest i'm not entirely sure that they that the screen accuracy would have been viable because i'm pretty sure that some of the panels changed from season to season or episode to episode so you know it i think that might be a miss uh, a misleading suggestion but it's a it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun and it was i mean don't get me wrong 50 pounds still quite a lot of money um but it's a lot less than 160 so you know with a with a saving of around 110 pounds i'm going to take that i'm going to take that saving uh, especially when it sort of bore out um, when you look at uh, this on the secondary market. You know, it was still going for... And, and by all means, check it out uh, if you're not sure. Um, I don't know if you've got one of these in your collection. Uh, as I say, it certainly was not something that was on my radar. So if you are aware of others in the range, do please drop me a comment or drop a link down below to help me find them. And I'll make my own decision about whether or not I, I fancy adding to this collection. Um, if you've never seen them before either, then maybe this has helped you decide that you never want to see them ever again. Fair, fair enough. Or that actually this is something that you, how have you survived without this in your life? Goodness knows. In which case, please, please, please do drop a like either way to the, to the video itself and a subscription to the channel, as I mentioned before, completely free. And it means the world to me. So thank you very, very much. Um, so this has been the one to six scale model of the Enterprise captain's chair uh, as produced by, let me get their name, uh, QMX Master Series. Never heard of them. Very excited to look into them a bit more. Uh, you've been a fantastic audience. I've been the time traveling toy collector. And it just remains for me to say that I hope I'll see you in a future video. There are more Star Trek things to explore on the channel such as starships star bases and similar um and if you're into transformers or doctor who or Battlestar galactica or anything like that uh, have a little look around you might find something of interest either way i hope to see you in a future video and it just remains for me to say that a thing of beauty and this actually is really nice um truly is a toy forever take care and one to beam up mm -hmm.